Hi, this is Rob. How to adjust the graphing window on the T84 plus CE. First, I will enter equation of a line in the form y equals mx plus b. Press the y equals button. I will enter a line equation of y equals negative x plus 7. Make sure to press the negative sign here and not the minus button. x is this button. Then press the graph button to graph this line. Sometimes you need to adjust the graphing window to see where your graph of a line crosses the x and y axis. In this graph, we cannot see that. On this graph, we have five tick marks on the positive and negative y axis and five tick marks on the positive and negative x axis. Looking at the graph, we need to add more tick marks to the positive y and the positive x axis. Press the window button. We go down to the x max and the y max and change those to a 10. The y and x scale equals 1, which is OK. That means that the distance between each tick mark is one unit. Now press the graph button to see the new graphing window. Now we see that the line appears to cross the y-axis at a positive 7 and cross the x-axis at a positive 7 also. As a reminder, if you are getting any value from this video, please give it a thumbs up and let YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. To confirm that the line crosses the y-axis at a positive 7 and crosses the x-axis at a positive 7, you can press the trace button. The equation of the line is here. We can trace along the line with this blinking cursor by using the arrow buttons. Right now the blinking cursor is at the point x equals 2.5 and y equals 4.5. Using the arrow buttons I will move up along the line to the y-axis. So it does appear that the line crosses the y-axis at 7 with the coordinates of x equals 0 and y equals 7. Now I will move the blinking cursor down the line to the x-axis using the arrow buttons. It does not give me exactly x equals 7, y equals 0, which is what I expected, so that is a part of the problem using this technique. We can go to the table to evaluate this line differently. Press the second button, then the graph button. So when x equals 0, y does equal 7. And when y equals 0, x equals 7. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe to this channel.